Today we're going to remind ourselves about subtraction. To do a calculation like 10 minus 4 is really easy. We can think of it as we start off by having 10 sweets. Then somebody comes along and takes four of our sweets away and we are left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sweets. Nice and easy. However, if we wanted to use the same idea to do something like 53 minus 5, it's going to take us forever because we would have to draw 53 sweets, then cross out five of them and count how many were left and that's really going to take far too much time. So we need a little more efficient way of thinking about that. And to do this, we're going to use the number line. Using the number line, to do a calculation like 53 minus 5 is really nice and easy. We start off at 53 and because we're subtracting we're taking away so we're going to take five steps backwards. One, two, three, four, five and we'll end up with our answer of 48. Now really we could even be quicker than that because we didn't need to count out those five steps individually. We can be a little smarter and faster. If we're going to start at 53 and take five steps back, we can do it by taking a nice big jump of three, which gets us to 50. And then we need to take a further jump of two to make sure we've jumped five back. And that'll give us the answer of 48, just being a little more efficient. So there's a nice easy way to do subtraction. However, if we're going to try that way of doing subtraction to do a calculation like 43 minus 39, again, we're going to take a long time because we'd have to start at 43 and take 39 steps back. Even if we do some jumping, it's not the most efficient way to do it. So what can we do in a case like this? Well, in a case like this, to do 43 minus 39, we can think of subtraction slightly differently. 43 is over here. 39 is over here. And when we ask what is 43 minus 39, we're asking what's the difference between 43 and 39. In other words, how far apart are 43 and 39? How many steps does it take for me to get from 39 to 43? Well, we can see that quite easily. It'll take me one, two, three, four steps to get from 39 to 43. And so my answer for 43 minus 39 is four. So we have two different ways of thinking about subtraction and they help us for different kinds of calculations. One way we can think about subtraction is taking away, taking steps backwards. And the other way we think about it as how far apart, what's the difference? Let's try a few more examples um, and see which will be the best way to do those calculations. So let's think, if I wanted to do 61 minus 58, what would be a nice efficient way to do that? Well, 61's here. 58 is there. So if I use my idea of thinking of subtraction as how far apart, what's the difference? I can easily see that it would take me three steps to get from 58 to 61. So 61 minus 58 will just be three. If I wanted to calculate 37, let's not do 37, let's do 32 subtract 5. Well here it'll be very nice and easy, let me just move my number line over a bit, to say let's start at 32 and take 5 steps back. A jump of 2 will get me to 30, a further jump of 3 to make the jump of 5 will get me an answer of 27. So using the walking backwards taking away idea gets me there really quickly. Okay, let me give you two to try quickly. You decide what would be the best way to do either of these. What if I asked you to do 42 minus 
39. And if I asked you to do something like 53 minus 4. Pause the video quickly and see if you can do these two. And then we'll discuss them afterwards. Okay, for 42 minus 39, did you see easily? You could look, there's 42, there's 39. There are one, two, three steps between them. So 42 minus 39 is 3. For 53 minus 4, it was very easy to say, let's start at 53 and take four steps back. And so get my answer of 49. You're going to practice doing a few subtraction sums yourself now. In each case, try and think about what's the quickest, easiest and most efficient way to do it.